Well, for the fourth year running, golfers teed off in Farmington to support the fight against prostate cancer. Fox Connecticut's Angelica Spanos takes us to a special tournament put on by the Curtis D. Robinson Institute. It's par for the course around here. For golfers to come together for the Curtis D. Robinson Men's Health Institute at St. Francis Hospital in Hartford. Nearly 200 golfers showed up to Tungsis Plantation to help prevent men in Connecticut from dying from prostate cancer. The most important thing that a person has is their health. And a lot of times you don't realize that until it's too late. The Curtis D. Robinson Institute fixes that, entering Greater Hartford and treating men who can't afford health care otherwise. Curtis D. Robinson is a survivor himself and now a pillar in the community. Today, over $100,000 is raised for treatment, early diagnosis, and awareness, an idea he never knew would get this much attention. We would form some type of institute to go out and test these men and try to catch that cancer uh, before it uh, it gets out, out of the lift nose and inside the uh, uh, you know in, in, out of the prostate inside the lift nose. Since Robinson founded the institute, it's reached to more than 3,000 men and given exams to more than 1,800 in Connecticut. The true goal of the institute also echoes those at St. Francis Hospital. Its mission is taking care of the community, all aspects of the community. So we've been focus, focusing on disparities in health care for quite some time. And with Curtis's assistance, his philanthropy, and helping organize this initiative uh, has been a major step forward in fighting against health care disparities in our Hartford community. A community that recognizes Robinson's dedication and gives him a hole-in-one. In Farmington, Angelica Spanos, Fox, Connecticut.